What's up, y'all? Boulevard Bullies. Welcome to the final frontier of sports entertainment entertainment. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Welcome to the future of professional wrestling journalism. You know, last night was double or nothing. You called me, you said, Pat, you gotta tune into this event. Wrestling is changing. Yeah. And all I could think about in the middle of the night was, we have to change with it. So I Amazon Primed this $500,000 liquid HD screen. Don't touch it. Don't. Don't, don't freaking touch it. We need to react and analyze what's happening in wrestling, what's happening in the new alternative of wrestling, and we need to provide people with the alternative to the alternative. I got notes and a vanilla folder. I have more beers. Uh, also, it's cold double or nothing, so I went to the liquor store and I got a deal on two things of Fireball. <laughs> so double or nothing, so that's that. Uh, I think we should take a sip of this. You want to take a sip? Cool. I wanted to try to tell you this before we started filming and recording. I didn't watch it. Um, I didn't, not only did All I right. not take notes, I didn't watch it. I know what Twitter says about it, so did I need to watch it? No, I'm in the augmented reality. I'm a step ahead of you. Just like this fucking liquid don't, don't, screen don't of joy. Yeah. Let's put a picture of Parappa the Rapper right here, right now. <laughs> Steve, what do you want to put up on the screen? Let's just do it. Any, anything at any time, just like think about it like, <laughs> Think about like, like the, the whole throughout the whole thing. Just yeah. start throwing. Like think about it right now. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Mrs. Doubtfire, right now. Just think about Mrs. Doubtfire. So you didn't watch it, but you know what went on because you have the internet. I know everything stuff. that happened. Overall thoughts. Pretty on much. The um, pay per view. You know, I was a little skeptical at first. You know, I'm I'm a huge hater. Yeah. yeah. Love to hate. Bill mm. hater. Love it. Love to hate. Bill hater. That's why we got it for the puns to yeah. get the puns just right up there, drive them right home, right in your yeah. right in your heart like a steak. Throw the big puns. Buffy the big Vampire puns. Slayer. <laughs> First match, uh, Casino Battle Royale. All of our indie darling friends were in there. You got MJF, you got Joey Janela, you got Marco Stunt, you got Jimmy Havoc, you got other guys. Orange Cassidy was there. ECW legend Tommy Dreamer was I in saw there. Tommy Dreamer was Sonny in Kiss it. was there. Badass Billy Gunn, who we've rung announced twice at Outlaw Wrestling. Rung announce. R ring, ring. Came down fully oiled, I saw. Yeah, fully yeah. geared up, fully oiled. He was ready to go. He was ready to go. He wanted to win that shit. They came in in like groups of five because they were all like the different uh, decks of cards or whatever. Like, this is the group of spades. This is the group of hearts. This is the group of clubs. Blah, 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 blah. Kind of neat. So it was like five at five at a time. Mm -hmm. No theme songs. They just kind of like walked down the aisle, which is a little weird. These guys can't really do TV, so they just put them all in the battle roll together. And they just basically did like all their spots. Sonny Kiss did the butt bump in the turnbuckle to Dreamer. Marco Stun did a flippy thing. Joey took a table spot to the outside. What was Penelope Ford's capacity in this event? Well, she was doing like a full sensational show. She, sherry, she was basically. basically full valet in the midst of this outside choke slam. It was like, ah! And that's wow, pretty good. That incredible. was it. Great elimination. Hangman Page came out as the Joker. He was like the last guy. I guess that was a big thing they did. He, oh, the Joker was like the final. Yeah, the Joker was like so the that's last a neat, card. That's a neat little thing. Yeah, you know, double or nothing cards, casinos. The cool thing was that it was like British Bulldog Shawn Michaels, where British Bulldog thinks he wins last two, and Shawn Michaels comes back out and like knocks him over. So MJF thinks he won the match, and uh, Hangman Page comes out and pre-show's done. Christopher Daniels did a really, really bad Freddie Mercury impression. Like he, that was his entrance? Yeah, he was like singing, he had like a half microphone, he was like singing to the crowd. They're all like just like old dads. And like, like it dads. was like Scorpio Sky, Christopher Daniels, and Cranky Kazarian. They were like wearing like America kind of stuff. It looked like they were gonna go to like- Were they extremely tan? Like everybody goes a shade darker yeah. for a show like <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I'm gonna go for the special special. Yeah, you know? give me the double. Yeah. It's like, you know what, I'm gonna go to one, and then I'm gonna drive like two miles down the road, I'm gonna go to another. <laughs> Because the one, the one before That's they smart. yeah, That's like really because smart. the first place like under like FDA laws they yeah. can't do no. you twice. The women's three way was really cool with Britt Baker. She's a dentist. That's a big thing. Uh, oh, also I called Casanova. Cass couldn't come hang out because he was like hungover. So in or in honor of Cass, put those beers down. We're gonna drink Cass beer. Product so of South Korea. Keep this product cool. You know what we should do right here? Wait, is South Korea the good one or the bad one? It's good. It's the good one. We should, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's definitely beer. Yeah, it's a light beer. So let's fast forward. Fast forward through something that was uh, fucking good. Oh, you know what? The tag match, Jack Evans and someone else. From the heavens. We picked up uh, Jack Evans <laughs> at the airport. 
uh, so. for Jimmy Lloyd's 20th birthday, we got a phone call from the powers that be, mm-hmm. and we had to drive two hours out of our way to pick up Jack Evans at LaGuardia. No, JFK, right? You know, you did send me a picture of Jimmy Lloyd sitting front row. We can't get away from Jimmy Lloyd. He's the Easter egg in all of our videos. I, I don't know how so he So just it. like, Jimmy, ugh, like second row, Se- second row Jimmy. All right, so that was the that was the tag match. Um, whatever. It was a great six way, six man, six woman Japanese wrestling women ch- tag match. That was great. They cut away to the announce table, and Jim Ross goes, uh, "I don't really know where we are right now." And it was like an actual like a moment where I was like, "Oh, they're gonna fail." This is like the moment where they're gonna mess up. Right. And then they just kind of like cut to that promo that was like country music, Dustin Rose, Gold Dust, Cody, Dusty, we love you. Brothers, great. Mm-hmm. It was they great. are brothers. What do you think about the uh, intro with like the sledgehammer? Much like everything in wrestling, like it was so lame. Yeah. But it was so cool. <laughs> he didn't even actually smash it. Yeah. He, he went, hit it Boop. and it triggered like a. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, oh my god, it was so. It's like Legends lame. of the Hidden Temple, like when you like get yes. the monkey head in and goes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was. It was. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Phone call. <laughs> I don't even think I like wrestling anymore. Like, I don't think I actually like watching the matches. And I watched that match and I was kind of like, oh! You know, there was a figure four and they did reverse the pressure. No, come on. Yeah. So there was a big figure four and they reversed the pressure. Dude, that's my favorite during, thing. And that's, and that's actually, when they reversed the pressure, that's how you got Dustin no! sitting up looking like oh! Stone Cold. Figure four, pressure reversal, Dustin looks up like Stone Cold WrestleMania 13, iconic shot. Boom, money. After a pressure reversal, you're there talking. There you go. And then eventually, Cody won. Did Jim Ross say reverse the pressure? Who's Jim Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Screw you. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, forget it. Forget it. Hey, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Boop. So it went straight to the unveiling of the AEW World Championship. Brett. The Hitman Heart? Not Brett the Hitman Lauderdale. So MGF comes out, interrupts him, does the whole like, Brett, there's a fan! Great pop. That was awesome. Young Bucks versus Lucha Bros. I mean, Young Bucks have good matches. Penta and, and Ray Phoenix have good matches. JR kept going, why can't tag team wrestling be good? And he said that every single time, after every spot. So I get it. There'll be good tag team wrestling in AEW. Whatever. I mean, the Young Bucks are the best tag team. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. They're great. Penta is great. I don't really care. The main event was Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. Heard of those two guys. Yeah. Did you see any clips of that? I saw Chris Jericho's entrance. Yeah. I did not see Kenny Omega's entrance. Very regular. There was no goth Jericho. He had no face paint. No. I was kind of upset. I wanted, I wanted kind of like an MCR... You know, from first to last, like Emo Night Brooklyn kind of Jericho, yeah. not there. One thing I realized is that he definitely does sing his intro song. Jericho did have a Fozzy song. You hear his own voice over his entrance. Which Are is you great. sure? Is that confirmed? In my heart, it was Jericho. <laughs> what was the biggest highlight of that match for you? Uh, pro- well, probably the Cracker Barrel. In the ring. The fuck is the Cracker Barrel? <laughs> they had a Cracker Barrel in the corner of the ring that was like their sponsor. But you're saying a Cracker Barrel. What is a Cracker Barrel? So, is this a barrel that says Cracker Barrel on it? A Cracker Barrel barrel. So a barrel, yay big, yay wide, just in the ring. So wait, who brought the Cracker Barrel barrel? It was just there! It was just in the ring! So let me paint the picture for you. There's four sides of the ring. Two sides are Kenny and Chris. There's one side that is just a Cracker Barrel barrel. The ref tries to get it out of the ring under the bottom rope. Can't do it. Chris Jericho gets literally mad about it. He pushes the fucking barrel through the middle rope, and then he goes to the ring announcer, and he goes, what the fuck? He walks outside. He rings the bell himself. Amazing. Uh, it, that was the one thing that took me out of the match because it was like coming off of Dust, uh, Dustin and Cody. It was really great. And then you have a fucking barrel in the match. Whatever. He gave the Judas effect. You know what that is? I think I might have seen this because, you know, I didn't watch it, but I've watched you it. You saw the clip. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was 
trading MMA with my other dad friend. It kind of was. You know, <laughs> yeah. So the Judas effect is a back elbow. Swing, uh, you're spinning back elbow. Now, did he do it? That's how he won the match. And after all the battle, after all the barrels, after all, <laughs> after all the cracker battles, <laughs> after all the cracker battles, he gave a spinning back elbow. Judas effect, and he won the match. How could he ever resist naming it after the his hit own song? song. Of his oh, dad. Which is that, that's probably yeah. you know what I don't like Fozzie, but that's probably the song he came out to. Please no. just fact check us in the comments, and then guess what? What? And then Job Moxley came out. Who's Job Moxley? And who cares about Job Moxley? This was like the test guinea pig thing. They had like six months to like have one good pay per view. Playing in a band, you have your whole life to write your first record. Mm. And then after that, you gotta pump, pump one out every year. And I think more importantly than any of that is the new Boulevard Bullies setup. Super expensive. Solar system. <laughs> Moving forward, I still don't really care. I actually had a good time watching the pay-per-view. The production was cool. Cameras were a little weird, but the matches were great. Um, Jim Ross, classic. What was your favorite match of the night? Dustin Cody was the best match of the year. Of the year. Of the year. It's only five and a half months. Into well, the it year. won't get. It won't get topped. It won't get topped. Wow, incredible. Say thanks for watching. Oh, you know, hey, so this is us doing double or nothing. Right. And we go, oh, and then, then I go, oh, cool. You know, like I'm surprised. Cause let me do another shot. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Boulevard Boys. <laughs> <laughs>